Blessings and praises be given to our God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, praises, honor be given to our Father, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, praises, honor, dominion, and adoration ever be thine for now and evermore. Holy. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty, most merciful Father, most compassionate Father, and the most righteous Father. Father, here we are, thy sinful children, Father, we have come once again before thy throne of mercy. Father, we have come knowing fully well that we've sinned against the Father. Father, we've done so many unseeming things. We lie, we cheat, Father. We don't even put your words into practice. We've sinned against the Father with our entire bodies. We've sinned against it through our thoughts, actions, and all trances. Father, we are not worthy to be called our children. But we thank you, dear Father, for indeed you are not like man, for you have said that even though our sins be read as crimson, and that whenever we come to thee with penitent hearts, confessing all our wrongdoings, Father, you did promise to take us back. Father, here we are, still on our bended knees, still begging and pleading, Father, for it was for this same reason that you sent your only begotten Son to come and die for the remission of all our sins. Father, we thank you so much, Father, for indeed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary has washed us clean, both in our bodies and our souls. Father, so let thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear yeah, Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for all the patience. Thank you also for showing mercy. Through showing mercy, you've given each and every one of us a second chance. A second chance to be good children unto thee. A second chance to always put thee first in everything that we do. A second chance to do thy work the way it is supposed to be done. A second chance to always speak the truth and practice righteousness so that it will be well with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, dear Father, for all the wonderful things you've been doing in our midst. We thank you for daily care, daily protection. Thank you for being the only provider for your children. Thank you also for being the greatest doctor in our midst. We thank you most sincerely, Father, for healing all our sicknesses no matter the nature and the duration of his sickness just by believing and trusting in the father you've taken away all our sicknesses all our infirmities and afflictions here and there father say the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our lord jesus christ if father nobody ever comes to thee and goes back empty-handed just as long as such a one is spiritually minded, as long as such a one has a forgiving heart, as long as such a one surrenders to the pure and undefiled heart, as long as such a one is not spiritually blind, nor spiritually deaf, but as long as such a one is humble and patient and has faith and trust in thee, for in thee, Father, there is no disappointment. Therefore, all those who put their faith, their trust in thee, Father, I said, they will never see shame. Neither would they be disappointed. Because in thee, Father, there is no disappointment. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father, your children have come once again, seeking thy face. Thank you for not turning your back on us. Thank you for always being there for us. 
Thank you for constantly fighting all our secret and open wars for us. Thank you for being an all-conquering God. We have indeed conquered for all your true children. Father, with your all-seeing eyes, you've seen all our situations. Thank you for changing all bad situations into good situation. As for our already good situation, thank you for making them to be the best situation. And thank you for finally taking dominion over your entire children. Father, no matter where they are right now in the world, as long as they believe in thee, and they love thee more than anything else, and they also love their brethren, and they have surrendered completely into their care by putting all their injunctions into practice. Thank you, dear Father, for giving them all what to testify about thy holy name. Amen. Father, you love us so much. You care for us so much. Father, you don't just want us to perish. That's why daily keep teaching us to have love one for another. Thank you for always admonishing us to always do good so that only good things will follow us wherever we go. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear Father, for making us what you want us to be and not what we like to be. Thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for constantly being in front and behind us. Thank you for spreading the wings of love, the wings of peace over your entire children, no matter where they are right now. Father, thank you for your coming. Through your coming, you've gathered all your children the world over. Thank you, dear Father, for also putting all things into shipshape order for your children, where we don't have to envy, quarrel, or fight over. For indeed, Father, you are just enough for each and every one of us. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we pray for all the nations of the world. Thank you, Father. All those planning evil, planning war. Father, you have changed your minds. Thank you for putting your love in their heart. Thank you for making them to love one another so that there will be peace everywhere. And when there is peace, obviously there will be progress. Father, so let thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Father, what can we say? What can we do? On our own, we can do nothing. That is why we look up to thee for everything. And thank you for being everything for us. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you, Father, whatever be the enemy's plans for your children. Thank you for promptly returning them all back to sender. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for making brotherhood of the cross and star forward ever and backward never. All the enemies of brotherhood of the cross and star, all those who think we are blood suckers, thank you for opening their hearts. Thank you for changing them and also transforming them unto thyself. Father, so the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we surrender everything into thy mighty hands, we simply pray and ask, let only thy will be done upon each and every one of us. As for all your children here, all those who have faithfully and sincerely answered, Amen. Amen. Father, you make sure that all is perfectly well with us for now and evermore. Let thanks, praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let thanks, praises be given to the one and only mighty, mighty God in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, let all thanks, all praises, all honor, all wisdom, all power, all authority and supremacy be given to thee and thee alone for now and evermore. Matthew chapter 6 verse 8. Our first Bible lesson is taken from the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 6 verse 8. 
Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. May the Lord bless his holy words. Romans chapter 8, verses 5 to 9. Our second Bible reading is drawn from the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 9. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. May the Lord bless his holy word. Our good in text is taken from Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 to 26. Our golden text is from the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 26. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. May the Lord bless his holy words. Spirit Dio, in a Spirit, you are the Lord. 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 Spirit
Dear brethren, yes, Papa. dear brethren, oh, yes, Papa. I'm sure you've heard the spiritual chorus. Have you changed? Have you imbibed the Holy Spirit? Or you are still with the spirit of the world? Eh? Because where we are, the spirit of the world is not allowed. You must always be in spirit. Because this is the kingdom of God, where God dwells himself, sending no one. He is the one doing everything here. That is why when you bring other powers here to cause problem, before you know it, it does not work. Because he has diffused whatever you have brought to cause confusion here. He is in charge here. And because he's in charge, he will not allow any element to operate here. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You keep praying, God, give me Holy Spirit. God, give me Holy Spirit. Is it done that way? Huh? See, you don't have to ask him for anything. Because he knows your heart desires. What do you need? What do you want? He knows them all, even without you are saying it. And if you believe in him, you put his words into practice. Like I always say, the Holy Spirit will find you. It will come inside of you, as long as you are on track. It's not God give me Holy Spirit, and you are still quarreling. You are still bearing malice. Eh? You are still bearing grudges and you call for Holy Spirit. It will not come. You know? And if you pretend, of course, He knows how to disgrace you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you see, He is your Father. He is everything for you. And as such, 
He knows all about you. He knows all about you. Because the only people think God does not know anything. In fact, they think God does not exist. Aha. But here, he is here. He does exist here. We believe totally in his powers, in his authority. And as such, we are obedient to him. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Some people take delight the when they commit crime, when they go bad, and nothing happens to them. They say, ah, if there was God, how come God did not stop me? Because of that, they think God does not exist. God is in existence. That's why he declared, he said, touch not my anointed. All those anointed by him, all those his children, that is your guarantee. Nothing will happen to you because he will be always with you. He will go everywhere with you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So rejoice not because you can kill. You can commit all kinds of atrocity and get away with it. Ah, for every sin you commit, there is a reward for it. And the reward is always negative. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> so dear brethren, we are not going to be tedious unto you. Let us hear our first Bible reading once again. Our first Bible lesson is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 8. Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. May the Lord bless his holy words. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 And the rabbi chairs of the Holy Spirit bread. He said, do not be like them. Who are them? The worldly people, people of the world. Do not be like them. Because even when they pray, they pray long prayers. They shout. They make noise. As if God is deaf. As if he is dumb. They think in the process of shouting, he will hear them. He said, do not be like them. God does not want you to lament. Many times we lament to God. No. We are supposed to thank him for everything and also praise him. Believing in him, oh, putting your trust in him, oh, you don't have any other hope anywhere except on him. And he has promised never to disappoint you. Eh? He said he will never disappoint you. But he does not want you to cry. He does not want you to lament. Just surrender yourself to him. And all will be well with you. Because he knows your heart. He knows what is inside you. And he will take care of it for you. He don't even have to ask for anything. Because he knows all your needs. Even when you have no food, you look around, no food in the house. All you have to do is say, Father, I thank you for the food you have given me. Not to conjure him, like most of you. God, give me food now. Ah, can you command God? Ah, but is that not what people do? Ah, they command God. They conjure God. Can God be conjured? You can only conjure the devil. Aha. You cannot conjure God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Even when you are going out, all you have to say, Father, I thank you for taking me out and bringing me back in peace. He will hear you and he will do it exactly. 
In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Share our Lord's prayers now. Give us our daily bread. If you believe in him, it will not fail you. If you do his will, if you obey him, if you put his words into practice, if you don't hate, if you don't segregate, if you don't do those things he says you shouldn't do, he will provide for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The prayer goes on to say, Thy kingdom come. Huh? Is the kingdom not here? Is the kingdom not here? And he said, I will be done on it as it is in heaven. What is that his will? He wants us to coexist together. How many are coexisting together? Eh? What about all the acrimonies amongst us? This one doesn't like this one because this one is short. This one is tall. All kinds of reasons. But God's will is he wants us to coexist together to practice what he has taught us through his dear son, our Lord Jesus Christ. To love one another. Are we loving one another? If your brother has something that you don't have, do you thank God for that, your brother? Don't you say, I also want that thing. And you're ready to steal. You're ready to rob. You're ready to dislodge your brother or your sister in order to have that thing. Is that what God taught you? He wants us to coexist together in love, in peace. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> the prayer goes on to say, forgive us of our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Some Bible says, forgive us of our debts. As we also forgive all our debtors. What is this trespasses? If you forgive you of all your sins, have you forgiven those who have sinned against you, or who are working against you, or who have offended you? Ah, that is where it hangs on. He's ready to forgive you. But have you forgiven your offenders? And before you say, God, give me this, give me that. I tell you, he knows what is in our hearts. If you have some people you don't love inside you, and you pray for something from him, will he give? After he has said, forgive all your debtors. And then you don't forgive. And you want him to forgive you of your own. Will he forgive you? Tell me if you are God, will you do it? So that is where it is. You are full of sin. You have so many people you don't like. Eh? And here you are, begging God to do something for you. Dear brother, may we hear our second Bible reading once again. Our second Bible reading is drawn from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 5 to 9. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so, be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. May the Lord bless his holy words. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Hallelujah. to the Holy Spirit. See now. 
When you are told to be in spirit, you feel like somebody is insulting you or forcing you to do something. You've heard it yourself. You have to be in spirit at all times. If you want to communicate with him, if you want to know him, you have to be in spirit. How many are in spirit here? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? As you are raising your hand. Do you know what it is to be in spirit? Do you know what it is to be in spirit? I think being in spirit is uh, periwinkle. Those one for four, four that raise your hand. He said they're in spirit. Do you fight? Do you fight? Do you quarrel? Do you abuse anybody? Because if you do any of those things, you are not in spirit too. Are you disobedient? Are you troublesome? Uh-huh. So you see, all those who are in spirit, he knows them all. And he answered their hard desires without them asking for it. Without them demanding for it. He knows you. He knows everybody. He cannot pretend before him. Oh. The other day somebody came and said he was looking for school fees. I said I have to go to school and pay that school fees for you. The man got angry. Uh -huh. Was he in spirit? He knew he was not in any school. He just wanted to grab the money and go and spend. You see how we are? You think you can cheat God? You can play games with God? I tell you once, if you are serious with God, God will also be serious with you. Most of us don't know how to be serious with him. We always say, as father likes it. How do you like it? Yourself. Eh? We joke with everything. We toy with everything. God does not joke with us. But we joke with him. We play games with God. And we think we are smart. Who is smarter? You or God? Dear brethren. Dear brethren. Yes, Papa. We are not going to delay you unduly. Let us hear our golden text. Our golden text is from Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 26. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in the time past, that they which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with their affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. Provoking one another, envying one another. May the Lord bless his holy words. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Hallelujah. If there are just the Holy Spirit bread. <laughs> you know man who say, Oh party. Aha. Now you know where you belong. Huh? Are you of the flesh or of the spirit? You've been given the fruit of the flesh. Do not come here deceiving yourself. Whereas, you just came out of the native doctor. I said, stop deceiving yourself. Oh. Now you know the fruit of the spirit. Do you have love? Do you have joy? Are you kind? All those things being read out to you. Which side do you belong? Now you know 
God has nothing to do with the flesh. He said you are a child of God. You believe in God. And you go around distributing witchcraft to people. You think you will go to heaven? You are doomed. Because all those people that you've given witchcraft to, you have to pay for it. And you will suffer for it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't think that when you come here in flesh and pretend, eh? That God will clap for you. He will not clap for you. Come here in spirit and walk in spirit. He will bless you for it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because you think God doesn't see you, right? And you do as you like. He do those things that he's against. Ah. Fighting God doesn't mean uh, standing face to face to fight. Oh. Your action, your activities will tell. And if you are in flesh, doing all those things that God said we shouldn't do, and you wear your shiny white, and carry your face like say you've seen him. He knows you are pretending. Don't even bother. All those with sweet coated tongue, they can convince anybody. And yet, they are in flesh. They worship idol, do all kinds of ungodly things, and you believe you go to heaven. No heaven for you. I said, no heaven for you. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, it is not a matter of showing off. Huh? I go to this church, I go to that church. Oh, my church is better than this. Are you walking in spirit? Because if you are in spirit, you will not say such thing. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must do what? Worship him in spirit and in truth. The question now is, do you have the spirit of God in you? How many are trying to have the spirit of God? <laughs> How long are you going to keep trying? Eh? Of course. It's a consolation. They say if you try, you don't succeed. Try, try, try. You will succeed one day. <laughs> but in the process of trying, don't keep up doing bad things. So. Otherwise, your days of wearing him, putting him on, will be long. Forget the flesh. Because the flesh will lead you to nowhere. But if you walk in spirit, if you believe in him, if you have surrendered to him, his joy, his happiness, all the good things of his will be yours. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be the friends so the Let's be not in so that the world is in and glorified on the Go to the world, let them to know that you are still God first to confess. 
So, now tell me, from now on, how many are going to show the difference? Aha. I remember, you are to keep thanking him and praising him. No matter what, as long as you've shown the difference, it will be there for you. Amen. It will never allow you to suffer. Amen. It will never allow you to cry and to lament in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, dear brethren, dear brethren, oh, yes, Papa. With that last spiritual chorus, I am stepping down. Amen. A stroke of the king, they say, is enough for the wise. So therefore, he who has ears, let him or her hear. What the Holy Spirit has given to us this afternoon. I said, may he alone, 
May he alone. May he alone. Amen. Bless his holy words.